Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, uh, what is these? Okay, so these come out, but the curls, I was like, do I need to put some type of liquid on them or something? But you see how the curl come out? I, I think I'm going to like it because it's like a, like a blowout, you know? So that curl was like lacking. I got to tighten it up. And I wonder, like, you know how, like, when you wear, like, the soft pink rollers as opposed to, like, the hard, like, um, the hard rollers. And then, like, you have, like, a crimp or a crinkle or some of your hair. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to take this one out because I think that's perfect, like, if they're going to come out like that. But I think maybe this one. Let's see what it looks like now. See, some of them didn't curl, so I'm like, do I need to put some mousse on it or something? Because I just did these dry. So I might just like go back and put mousse on them. I didn't want my hair to look um, dry. So that was it. So I put oil on her because I already had mousse and stuff on her from earlier. So I might be just go back through and put mousse on them later. And you know, see if it'll do better. So how spice. Okay, so today is just all about how do... Okay, so I got to take these out. I got to take them out because it's like, how do I prepare? Y'all see that curl? This is like so fucking good. That curl is like so good. And I didn't put any mousse or anything. On. I just put the oil on her. Y'all, that's so cute. Oh, my God. So I think I'm not gonna call my curls out. I want to just look like an old school hooker today. Y'all know. Remember that wigs be like these. They they wigs be like some strange ass color. This goes out to all the old school hookers. I ain't selling no pussy, but still, baby. Let's go out to all the old school with this name, Betty and Sharon. Yeah, that is like so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? So hot and spicy, baby. Jump up on me. Oh, so y'all, I did this just so I can wear a fucking her neck. Can I wear her neck now? This is what I did it for, so I can wear my hair in. So maybe they so supposed to be like that. Y'all, somebody telling on me, talking about I'm like a little thug. No, I'm not. I'm a good girl. I wear pearls in my hair. Y'all, I just wanted these damn pearls in my fucking hair for real. Look at that. That is like so cute. 
you cannot tell me that this shit is not the fucking cutest. Oh my gosh. So when I put this on, then I ain't no hooker no more. Yeah, don't tell Drake I'm a good. Don't tell him I'm a good. Nelly will be the one. Don't fight for me no more. They could be like, why am I getting all this privilege? Because you got a big booty, baby. You got that Michelle Obama, baby. Here, Michelle. Now, I don't have big booty, Michelle. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, y'all do. Y'all got it. That's why Barack be with him. That's why Barack be like, Yeah, 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 baby. Barack and her, I know how to make sourdough bread, but Michelle Obama got a big booty. You see, what I'm saying he don't never want to bring up the fact that he uses her big booty privilege too. Let's all be sure about what we're doing here. Let's all be, let's all just tell the truth. Barack, at least I'm honest. You see what I'm saying? About how I'm going to use the big booty privilege. You don't even let her know. You use Michelle's big booty privilege. Don't stop it, Barack. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want her. That's how I gonna have to go, y'all. But Rock did. He used Michelle Big Booty Privilege. So in this case, like I'm saying, since we talking about presidential, give Drake Big Booty Privilege. That's all I'm saying. Y'all ain't gotta do nothing else for me. So guys, let me update you. I'm really letting Barack know that I already know that he used he uses Michelle's big booty privilege. And so you see, what I'm saying he don't want people to know that he that he does this. Um Michelle has a nice ass. It's not a joke. So that's it. I mean, we give her all the presidential respect, but Michelle is the top dog as far as big booty privilege goes so i'm just saying if you out there and you have a chance you give drake big booty privilege don't be getting no attitude with him. don't get him the bad side of it. get him the good side of it. get him the presidential big booty privilege y'all understand what i'm saying so it's like that's all i'm saying that was supposed to be the husband that i'm supposed to have y'all that's the man i'll be crying for and everything so that's it i can't i can't love nobody else I can't love y'all like I love him. That's the truth. I don't know if it's cultural. I don't know if it's innocent. I don't know. I just won't ever be able to love y'all like I love him. So that's it. If that's supposed to be my husband, then he deserves big booty privilege.
it. Oh my god, y'all. I don't know how I look, but I'm wearing my hernet today and my skirt. I don't got nothing else to do but try to like get the stuff ready for the crowns, and I'm trying to do it cheap. So I think ten dollars at the Dollar Tree. I think that's all I need to spend. I don't need to like be breaking the bank. I got wire and all that stuff. So I got this challenge going. Like I'll make fifty crowns in three months, and it might end up being more. So I put the magazine page out there, y'all. On um, it's just out there. I think you gotta click it. It says crown challenge or something like that. So. I'm making these crowns. I look so crazy with with uh with my hair like this. Just call just call me Mary. Just call me Mary. I'll be down in the office. I'm I'm be down in the office. I'm be down in the office. Just call me Mary. Just call me Mary. I'm be in the office. I'm be in the office singing and dancing. Just call. Okay, y'all, I gotta do my face. I was like, oh, there it go. It's my roller. I gotta roll my face. Just call me, man. I'm gonna be down on the office. Singing and dancing to church songs. Oh, everybody like, I ain't know I stopped they win. Ain't nobody trying to help me or nothing. Y'all don't get no fuck. Y'all don't give a fuck. I'm still in the home and shelter. Drake's still somewhere in Canada. My son's still kidnapped. It's all this because somebody want to be in our business. Because they want to steal my ideas and give them to Barack Obama. Because they want to act like they smarter than the average bird. Y'all did it. But now they're going to find out she done. You see what I'm saying? You did it. Y'all didn't stole every goddamn thing. Also, the world will find out you an idiot. I didn't know we stopped their wedding. I didn't know we were stopped seeing them from seeing each other. They stopped me from seeing my cousins, too. My cousins, my gossips. It don't even matter. Y'all do anything for pedophiles. Anything for evil people. Then his daughter go and make a movie called Swarm. And y'all know who it is, really, that girl that be with, uh, that was in that Jamie Foxx movie, the one with the uh, power thing. Cause she want him to be caught up, say he a molester or something. He ain't no molester. Because I was listening inside my house. So... They'll get anybody caught up in this shit. So that's the that's who the real culprit is, is these this group of girls. Cause I think her sister was stalking me too at the library. So I'm at the library. It's like sticking a tongue out trying to figure out what I was doing on the computer, all that different stuff. She looked like her. So they stalked us. It's the young girl that they got the story where Jamie gave her some money and all that different stuff. Y'all see what I'm saying? That man helped her out and she'll bite his hand. All of them. They going through my stuff like they geniuses. I didn't told you. And then that's how they got the movie The Swarm. I'm the person that they are ultimately stalking. So it's crazy how she just going to include the Obama's daughter. Trying to get over on people. That bitch a thief whole family of them something wrong with them i don't know if they don't have parents or whatever but it was this lady in there she was like it's my visitation she told her to say that y'all see what i'm saying because the girl don't know what she's looking at she's too young she don't have experience so all of them are like dumb young stalkers and y'all just listen to them it's just like the same with that harvey weinstein stuff they everybody that's in trouble is in trouble by some young Coochie ass stalker. And y'all believe it because that be the shit y'all want to really happen. 
and it's almost like they killed the people that were in my age group that had the stuff that told them the stories so they tried to kill the people so they can just like make it to be them y'all think i'm joking i'm not y'all got harvey wine supposedly got harvey weinstein in jail Um, so it's just like it's just a group of group, another group got the next group of stalkers, and now they trying to get my son caught up in that stuff too. Like we can't have a life. No, I gotta kill y'all. Ain't no nobody owe you nothing. I need my fucking money. I need my house. I don't want you looking at me. I don't want you talking to me. None of that shit. I don't want you to keep me from my man. Like, shoot, we want to fuck. We grown. I'm 40 some years old. I don't need nobody trying to judge me for masturbating. Debbie. Oh, my God, she's touching her pussy. Oh, my God, that old woman is touching her pussy. She's touching her old vagina. And guess what? I'm going to keep touching that motherfucker, too. So, yeah, I got to wash it, don't I? I got to wash it. So, the, yeah, it's just, I can't. I can't do that. I don't need them coming after every man. Y'all, they went after Giovanni too. That's why that's why I was like, Giovanni raped me, right? Me and Giovanni wasn't supposed to have sex, right? Guess who was over his house after we had sex? A group of young girls. And I'm thinking they like Ariana and um Ariana and Faith's daughter age. What's her name? Helena. Ariana and Helena's age. And they just stupid. They just really are stupid. So yeah, your girl got the movie. And now. She's still using my information too. Same thing with the city girls and Carisha. I'm like, get these young bitches all somewhere. Same thing with the people that did that shit with Megan and Stallion. Now that was a group of gay dudes. So ain't no fucking way Megan the Stallion ass need to be sounding like she ran through and she's 17 or 18 fucking years old. People don't even really talk about her like that. And that's that's respect. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I love that these men haven't been on the thing like Megan Thee Stallion. The shit, she fine. They'll say Beyonce fine. Beyonce married, but Beyonce grown. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So when they say Megan Thee Stallion fine, I mean, ain't nobody like just went crazy. Like, oh my God, Megan Thee Stallion is gorgeous. She is. She got a nice body, right? I just love that these men have not just like been trying to trap her and do all this. You see what I'm saying? It's like, but they'll try to trap me. You see? So that's it. So it's like, damn. But she is trapped. She trapped. She a prisoner too. But like I'm saying, it's like ain't nobody been like, oh my God, Megan the Stallion. I'm going to fuck the shit out of Megan the Stallion. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I like that when they speak, they speak about people that's grown, that's actually grown. So that tell you a lot too that the industry really is changing and it never probably was like that. It's just a few men. That would do that. And so that's the best part because she really is like a little girl. Like, y'all don't understand that. And it's like, I hate that y'all did that shit. Tried to put her out there like she was ran through. And it's like, shit, that's that's 40 years of fucking. You understand what I'm saying? That's 40 years of experience you giving to a, a child. And it's like, y'all don't need to do that. Y'all don't need to give these little girls access to my life. So that's it. It's just stalk after stalk after stalk. Diddy, he need to get a hold of them little bitches too. Don't get in front of them. Some, you know, like y'all got to get away from them because they're going to keep on making y'all. And that's just this girl. I'm from Louisiana. She probably not from Louisiana. She probably from somewhere out here. And somebody didn't tell her how to use those spirits and stuff. So that's it. That's why they was fucking with Jamie because it's like, oh yeah, we can use this on Jamie. They've been using this on Jamie for a long time. Y'all got to get to Jamie, man. That's probably why Jamie had to be in the hospital, too. Like, y'all got to get the fuck away from people. People don't need to be caught up like that. Like, let them enjoy their fucking life because you want to be a star. And it's before your time. Like, get the fuck on. Knowing that should have been me. So, all they doing is really just feeling like me because of what Jack did. So, Jack, I don't know if he dead or not, but they got his ass looking crazy, too. Probably somewhere in that. See, he deserve it. Jamie Foxx, y'all don't need to do that to that man. Yeah, if y'all doing him like y'all did my mama, y'all don't y'all didn't need to do that shit to my mama either. It's like that stuff don't need to be done to them like that. That stuff crazy. 
It's crazy. They don't need to do that. It's like, let us, if that person was here on earth and you putting a soul in them or a spirit on them that's passed away, that person had a life. You see what I'm saying? Why don't you put it on yourself? Because that's it. Like, you the motherfucker that took it. You wanted it. So then put it on yourself. Stop trying to fuck with other people. Put that shit on yourself. You spend your life like that. Like that man, he he. I don't know if he do drugs or not, but I don't think he do. I don't think he really a a drug addict. You know what I'm saying? He a grown ass man. He deserve to do all the shit he need to do too. Y'all treat him like he like one of us, like he a child star. And even with us, it's like y'all still don't treat us like we grown. But you will let more side do a whole fucking photo shoot like she the grownest bitch in the world. It just this shit don't make sense to me. And so I'm I'm just like have Megan and Stallion out there doing shit too, like she grown. Like, no. So that's something I really did notice. Like how some of these men, they don't be like, oh yeah, I'll fuck the shit out of Megan and Stallion. You know, I'll do this with Megan and Stallion. That's why this other girl who came out, like all these men were assaulting her and telling her all this stuff. Either they making them say that, or that's it, they making them say it. Ain't no fucking reason no man gonna just come on no set and treat you like a hoe with all of us. We out here not wearing clothes and all this stuff. Ain't nobody finna just do this shit. So they either making making him say it. So this girl, Asuki or Sakai, whatever her name is. Y'all, um, that's it. I don't think she really been. That's this I want y'all to pay attention to. Watch what they doing. Either they set her up for it or she sent herself up for it. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? So, it's like she not even that big, but I'm not either. You know, like, but I am. So, they set me up for the shit. So, it's like either they set her up for it or she set herself up for it. Just like with Kim Kardashian, she set herself up for the paparazzi and all this stuff. But we don't do that. We just leave the house. If I step off this property, somebody following me. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like, that's why I be like a different situation. It's like, who is this girl? What the where the fuck she come from? But now they lusting after and all that stuff. Ain't nobody gonna come after you because your clothes too little. You see what I'm saying? That's why I irk about when came out on stage with her underwear on. Uh, Janelle Monet came out, her titties out, and they don't do nothing to them. And I'm talking about they bigger stars than these other people are. So it's like it just don't seem right. The stories y'all make up, they so young and dumb. That it just don't seem right. This is all the stuff that they try to pump. Listen, Martin could probably help me figure this out. Bill Cosby. If we saw what they did to you after everything we go through with all these spirits and shit, Jamie Foxx could probably help me too. China could probably help me too. What's her name? Chi what's her name? Um, not Black China. It's the other little girl. She was uh um she got two other sisters. It's three of them that I think they played on uh Daddy's Little Girls or something like that. Or with um, uh, with your man, what was his name? <sighs> uh, cause they been putting her through some shit too. We could just look at the stuff y'all do, and we know that that's something that y'all wanted us to go through. Idris Elba, the movie with Idris Elba with those girls, and see that's what it is. So that girl got some type of anointing on her. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Uh. <laughs> It was three of them. Am I thinking about the right ones? The McLean girls. China, yep, China McLean. I'm talking about China McLean. Because she be like, I don't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be in that part of Hollywood. And because it's three girls and it's me and my three sisters, me and my two sisters, then, yep, I, I can see why they would come after them, too. But, yeah, China McLean. She could probably, we could probably just straight up sit there and just be like, nope. I think you using spirits to put that shit on people. Or whatever. Um, and you see how the dude was laughing. So he needs to go to jail. If that's the case. But at the same time. Did somebody set the shit up? Is it a, is it a guy stalking her? Y'all see what I'm talking about? Because this man. He don't leave me alone. It's like a big sigma. He, a, uh, he the guy that raped me. One day I was on 53rd. I was at the bus stop. And he was, at, he was in his car. Doing something, you see what I'm saying? Just watching me in his car, sitting by the Sigma building or whatever. And it's like, nah, y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta get out of East St. Louis. Y'all leaving, man. Y'all might as well start packing that shit up. If I have, I do need a soldier. 
And y'all don't know I'm that close to them. Like we got a um what is this thing? A tent what's some temporary people that come there? They don't they don't do it every every uh they like part-time soldiers. That's what we got in a, in East St. Louis, but we need we really do need the army or something. Take they ass to fuck up out of there because them sigmas, man. We got yeah, like they need to be killed. It's not a joke. Like, we gotta actually go to war in East St. Louis. Like that dude don't need to leave East St. Louis alive. He a rapist, he's stupid, and he got something. Same thing with Mississippi. She like a thief and a bully. And it's like they gotta kill you. They got to kill your ass. Like this ain't no situation where we need to talk about. They need to die. Ain't no reason for them to leave because they'll keep doing it. Either you lock them up or you got to kill them. That lady, too, the one who I told y'all was uh, Tyler Perry did the movie about it and she's still out there. The one who kidnapped, um, I think Tondela was kidnapped. The one who kidnapped Tondela, who I thought was, who I think is Fallon. And, um, Trying to kill people at that damn shelter, that uh, Hubbard house. Yeah, she got to be killed too. Something, both of them, both of the bald headed one and her. Because she's the bald headed lady, know what she's doing. So, Miss Pat probably got to be killed or locked up. Y'all don't understand. They got to be killed. I'm talking about this motherfucker, the whole 53rd Street. By Belmont, this motherfucker straight up had them building houses, all type of shit. They don't, they ain't never lived over there. They don't own shit over there. Nothing. They don't own none of it. None of it. None of it. And they just straight up over there like they've been living there their whole fucking life. Trying to hurt people so they can get out of their house. So they can take it. You can't do that shit. You finna get the fuck away from there. That whole Muslim mosque that uh black with Linda, Linda gotta be killed. Linda the one sending out the fake news. She got friends and shit that be looking at the phone. Yeah, y'all gotta be killed. Y'all either gotta be killed or put in jail. That's it. If it's up to me, I think y'all need to be killed. I'm not joking. I can't, I can't just like be your friend on this shit. You see what I'm saying? It's like the shit y'all do. That's some evil ass shit. Controlling people, fucking with talking through people, kids. Brandy gotta be killed. Whoever that white dude is, that whole Alton, them Alton police officers, they need to be killed too. All of them. It's just like the shit they doing is not normal, it's not natural. And the way they take it, no, because they so stupid, it just, you just be like, I can't. Like, you can't. Chantel, she one of them. You see what I'm saying? She got to be fucking locked up or killed. And she over there and it's trying to start arguments and fights with people all the time. Ain't nobody finna do that with you. Every day, we got we, like, we to gotta talk to you. You're not that important. And so that's the other thing. They want to feel important. They want to have a conversation, all this stuff. People people with sense don't do that shit. You see what I'm saying? When we got some sense, it ain't no, what I'm talking to you for, you know you wrong. I hate people that do that stuff. If you know you're wrong, why you wait for me to say it to you? Just stop. Just you see what I'm saying? If you know you're wrong, why are you standing there waiting for me to say that back to you? Like I like you wrong. You wrong. If you know you wrong, why are you waiting for me to talk to you? I don't talk. I bust you in your fucking face. That's why it's like y'all really fucking with me and I'm seeing who the fuck you are. That's why people like you really trying to fuck with this girl. I don't play that shit, y'all. I don't have the patience. Like y'all, I'm so I'm not that fucking nice. That's the whole problem. My mama kept telling everybody, "Oh, she's a nice person. She isn't. I, she's probably trying to get me married or something." I ain't playing. I ain't that fucking nice. And let me tell you something. My husband might be that nice. My guy friends might be that nice. And for them too, I kill y'all. I'm not that nice.
So yeah, y'all, I don't like that shit. You fucking with people, kids, controlling people. I'm talking about y'all actually seeing my sister being controlled like a fucking robot, turning like a robot, and it's somebody doing something to make her do it. And they in her, they think it's funny. You have to be killed. That young girl that did that movie, that one say she from Louisiana, kill her. I don't have nothing else to say to y'all. When I see Jamie being like his spirits real high, like he hype and shit, that whoever the fuck did it to him, kill him. You know, like it's like we don't have time for it. I don't have that type of patience. If I know who it is, y'all, I take a fucking, I just. Man, just bust you upside your fucking head. It don't, it don't be a reason for it. And so y'all want us to live in this world where we don't have a chance to sit down and just enjoy what we do. Or enjoy what we make. Or enjoy our ideas. Or enjoy what I'm bringing forth to the world. I'll kill you. Can you bear it? I'll kill his ass. It's not for, him, for what he did to Cosby. And you know you a motherfucker. Dave Chappelle, I'll kill that nigga too. It's not a joke. Like It's like y'all not really looking at what people do. And just because they got some money don't mean shit. That shit can be taken away too. Like y'all supposed to have the money. Don't be looking at that nigga like, oh, he's so great because he got money. He ain't got no money. He ain't even got jokes. The shit came from us. So what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying be appreciative. These niggas coming back like they really got to push us back down into the ground or something. No, nah, nigga, get the fuck on. I'll nah, kill your ass. Like it's like Y'all really want me to smile? Oh my god, that's so nice! Huh? I straight up smack the shit out you. That's how them bitches be finding out too. Like when Miss Woods found out, I was like, I'll take all this shit off these walls. Like Miss Woods came in my room with that bullshit. I walked up on that bitch like, I'll fuck your ass up. Y'all understand what I'm saying? These bitches forever running their fucking mouth. No, nah, when somebody straight up start killing y'all ass, y'all sitting there and be nice, you'll be making cookies at that motherfucker's food. Y'all better get on and y'all bitches. That's why Jamie think I'm playing when I be telling him, no, nah, you finna say no. That ain't my man or nothing, y'all. That's Jamie finna be my friend. Look. Jamie gonna start telling y'all asses no. If I gotta get on that motherfucking phone and tell this motherfucker no, Jamie gonna tell you no because y'all be putting that shit on. No. No. Jamie gonna start saying no. Jamie gonna have the time to work on his projects and get that shit done. Y'all ain't finna do him like Cosby. You ain't gonna do him like Michael Jackson either. Listen, Jamie gonna start saying no. It's That's what the fuck Jamie gonna have to say. Jamie can't let everybody in his house. Jamie can't do this. Jamie gotta say no. You understand what I'm saying? Jamie gotta pick up his shit and go. He can't answer every time y'all got a question. Stop talking to Kanye too, because Kanye be the one to wrap him up in that shit. John Legend too. So listen, that's all I'm trying to tell y'all. Say no. It's a no. Leave Jamie the fuck alone, because now I see what y'all doing. Y'all trying to make him come after us too, be mean to us and shit. No, nah, it's a no, bitch. It's a fucking no. Jamie gonna start saying fucking no. Jamie gotta have the rest of his life to live at, in a quiet and peaceful manner. In a creative manner. Jamie can probably push out so much fucking work and y'all be all up in his shit making that nigga crazy. No. Jamie gotta say no. He gonna have to say no. That's it, y'all. So today was like, how do I prepare for the show? I like look at Pinterest. I look at Instagram. I look at all this different stuff, stuff to see. Sometimes I gotta take a break like today. I ain't looking at none of that shit. I'm about to cheat. I'm about to go pee. Put on some clothes to get the fuck out of here. That's it, y'all. Have a good day. Jamie will be saying no. It's a no. Hide yourself. Get with your family and hide. That's it. Have a good day. <laughs>